On July 12th, the Simulated Sports Car Association Endurance Series raced for six hours at the challenging venue in the UK, Silverstone. If you're not familiar with SSCA, they run a mod bill especially for this series called Enduro Challenge. It is made up of ALMS style cars in an LMP and GT class. 39 teams started the race in two classes going after two Thrustmaster RGT Force Feedback Pro Wheels as well as over $500 in cash. The race saw the lowest attrition rate to date since SSCA's transition to R-Factor with 26 of the 39 cars taking the checkered flag. The surprise of the day was RC Motorsports in the LMP class driving the Pescarolo C60. After a late race black flag while leading, RC driver James Picard had to then chase down the Ghost Speed Audi R8 with Mr. Excitement at the wheel, Andres Corrali. Through sector one, it looks like Corrali might have locked up the tires a little bit. Guess who's here? Hello, Andres. My name is James. Started to pull in, then he does it. Lap traffic, heavy lap traffic in front of Corrali right now. This could play well for James Picard. Andres trying to work through the traffic. This is a battle for the lead in the midst of lap traffic. Corelli tried all he could and even threw some blocks in there to try and hold off the car. He's gonna go to the inside of Kinsley! Through Stowe, we're three wide for the lead! And we have a new leader on the cut! And Corelli's gonna take the lead back out of Stowe! Now we're running to fail! The car's gonna pull out, but Corelli's gonna block! Corelli locks up, they both lock up the tires! James locks up left! Oh, they make more contact! Through club now! The run to Abbey, it is a drag race between the Pescarolo and the Audi R8 down into Abbey and Picard got him right now, but Corolli's got the line. Corolli runs him wide. James is still getting run wide. And he yields the position of Corolli into the stadium. Corolli with some mad blocking skills right there to hang on to the lead. After five hours, I don't blame him. These guys have been trying and pushing for so long, and now the deficit reads nothing. Oh! Oh, Miller got a bad run off the corner, and Corrali yields the lead to Picard. But Corrali's coming back, he hit him! This, that could have been the race right there, folks. Using the lap car as a pick has been the key to this race so far, and James Picard... Picard ended up being the stronger of the two, and in the end, RC Motorsports and James McCarr, Daniel Smictala, and Klaus Kag will win the six hours of Silverstone presented by Thrustmaster. This race is over. Corrali held on to the second spot with his teammate Bruno Marquez. Another C60 driven by DH Racing's Damien Dainhumain and Sean Edwards rounded out the podium on the same lap as Ghost Speed and RC Motorsports. While Ghost Speed had to settle for second, they now sit alone on top of the championship by only four points over Swedish American who came home a strong fourth. The GT class saw a big shakeup in the points as three of the top teams all had issues. Coming into the event, Orion Racing was looking to win three in a row and had a good cushion over Sim Racing for Holland. From lap one, it was not Orion's day as Sean Purdy got turned around in his Aston Martin DBR9, took on some damage and was dead last after having to pit for repairs. After suffering a disconnect after only completing 64 laps, they would finish 18th in class, taking a huge hit in the points. It seemed all the luck was on sim racing for Holland's side this day. It definitely took skill though as well. They sat on the pole in their Corvette C6R and then won their first ever SSCA event. Two corners left. One final corner. Down the straightaway, Wilfred Vanderbrink, Marcel Offerman, sim racing for Holland. They win the six hours of Silverstone. The win now put them up into a tie for first with Orion Race Team at 113 points. RC Motorsports made the GT headlines as well after struggling at Sebring and Daytona. Kevin Brents and fill-in driver Scott Michaels brought their Corvette C6R home in second. With the rare endurance team scoring their first podium with drivers Albert Prim and Robin Toll. There's five teams in the hunt for the GT title, with Fletch Tech, RC Motorsports, and Sim Racing Tonight all less than 20 points back of Orion and Sim Racing for Holland. With only two races left to go in the championship and the roster full for the race at Fuji, you don't want to miss the next event on PSR TV. Go to SSCARace.com to catch all the details and watch the 10-hour race on September 6th.